inline editing. Easy, difficult, you decide. Hey guys, how's it going? Joe Easy here. Hey, I want to show you a quick technique, tip, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is what I use when I need a quick edit. So the situation is you've got a client out there, you've done some work for them. In this case, I actually did work maybe about two weeks ago, and they're requesting an edit because of something that yours truly here messed up. Uh, I need to return this to the client, and I need to make sure that it is as pristine and as clean as possible. And the, at the end of the day, what I want to make sure happens here is that the client doesn't even realize what's happened. They don't even know that I've actually spliced anything in or out of this. Um, so, so what we're going to do here is, you know, you've got your file. Uh, you're going to listen to it over and over. You've got to have this thing in your head of what you did and what you need to change. In my case here, I've messed up the word distribution. I said disruption. I was thinking it was a disruption platform. Uh, in my head, that did not come out properly. So we're going to fix that. So what I'm going to do here is going to take my audio file here, know that it's stereo up front. There's stereo pieces way back there. What this is is mono. So I'm going to create a new mono track. That's going to be the track that we record on. So first things first, we're going to re replay this. I'm going to get it in my head of what this sounds like. I'll let you guys listen along. At this stage, you want to start learning everything you can about your platform. Every platform, whether it's a disruption platform like Steam or a first party. So there it is. Every platform, whether it's a distribution platform like Steam, that's the piece that I need to record. That's what I need to fix up. So what we're going to do here is, is go back. I'm going to mute my first line. I'm going to make sure that my mic is positioned as precisely as I can. It's got to match up to the previous location. If it's not, then you're probably going to be able to note, have a little bit of uh, nuances that you'll notice as you hear it through the recording. Uh, honestly, most people won't be able to tell, but if you have really quality cans on and you're the one that recorded it, you're going to tell. And if you're like me, I'm, I'm kind of uh, uh, retentive about that sort of thing. So I make sure it's as perfect as possible. So I'm going to, I've talked too much. I need to rehear this. So here we go. At this stage, you want to start learning everything you can about your platform. Every platform, whether it's a disruption platform like Steam or a first, every platform, whether it's a distribution platform like Steam, that's the piece I need. So I'm going to mute again and record. At this stage, oop, sorry, muted the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Got to go back and do that. At this stage, you want to start learning everything you can about your platform. Every platform, whether it's a distribution platform like Steam. So there we are. We're going to scooch our file over just a little bit. Make that puppy line up just where it needs to. And you can see our file looks really, really similar. And our ending points are very, very similar as well. I need to scooch over to the right a little bit. So we're going to copy that and move her over. There we go. That feels good. So we're going to solo this. We're going to listen to it. Every platform, whether it's a distribution platform like Steam. We're going to go back to the first one and solo that. Every platform, whether it's a disruption platform like Steam. And I am going to... Bump up the volume just to scoosh. Every platform, whether it's a distribution platform like Steam, we're sitting at, you know, negative seven, negative eight. We need to be a little closer between negative six and negative three, if you saw that on the last go round here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to normalize my file. And I'm going to get to, yeah, about 4.8. And then we're going to apply the same filters that I had on before, which is really a simple 80 hertz roll off to make sure that's out of there. And then I did put a, a little bit of a de on here. So we're going to take that out. We're going to remove that. And let's play the file. Every platform, whether it's a distribution platform like Steam or a first party platform like Nintendo, that's good. That's good. I think it melds well, but I got a little click in here. I'm going to get rid of that click and do it one more time. Every platform, 
Whether it's a distribution platform like Steam or a first-party platform like Nintendo eShop, there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you guys use this technique? What do you use to try to splice in pieces of audio like this into files that you may have done a week, a month ago? Um, let me know in the comments. I hope you like this. I hope this has been useful. Uh, you might want to check out some of my other videos. Um, if you want to look up here, I've got a, a de-esser tutorial. I found a de-esser on Audacity. It works really good. Um, and there's a little tutorial on how to do it. So check it out. Thank you guys. Have an awesome week. Have an awesome rest of your week, month, whatever it is. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.